That bad. Yeah, just more of that. Yeah, <laughs> I can get more when I do it the other way that I usually do it, but this is less messy, I guess. Yeah. I say that as I get the <laughs> mess on my hands. Yeah, so I know people were saying before that if you just like toss Everyone's it, between your hands, always yeah. got something to say about the way I do. I mean, they're they're not wrong, but you were yeah. also saying that it gets messier for you. Yeah, when you do my it. hands are also really warm all the time. <laughs> I'm blaming it on that. <laughs> For sure. My yeah. hands, super hot. I'm just a very warm blooded person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Cooper's always wearing a hoodie and you're like, never yeah. wearing a hoodie. Uh, it's too hot now. Mm -hmm. It was funny, one time we were filming these and uh, Scott was doing it and I was going down here and he was getting the shot, but when I would go and move it over, I'd go up with it and it would oh, yeah. totally go out of frame. Oh yeah, because I think you're trying to get like some slow mo. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and it would and like even though I was like, okay, I got it this time. I promise I won't do it. Yeah, I remember. And then I, I went and did that. it. <laughs> Sixteen pounds of sugar. That's a lot of sugar, Craig. Yeah, it is. This, this doesn't sound very healthy anymore. No, it might. It might not be that healthy. I mean, this is just a bunch of corn over here. Yeah, we got a bucket full of corn. <laughs> and now we're throwing syrup in it, not syrup, throwing <laughs> sugar in it. Yeah. Another bag, Greg? Another bag. What the heck? I know. It's a lot. That looks like, that's not a lot, right? That's about as much as in like a soda. <laughs> 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 the cream of tartar. That's what's in your uh, little eight ounce bottle of Coke right there. That's how much sugar All that bag. sugar. <laughs> just a what teaspoon of cream of tartar? Uh, yep, a teaspoon of cream of tartar, <laughs> and then that's good for the butt, and that's good. We just add two quarts of water to it, but we're gonna wait on it for a second because we got one already on the stove. Thank you. Return, hurry! It jumped right up. <laughs> yeah, it was like one of the few times that. recently that it hasn't been going up and then down. What were we? We were filming the creams the other day. I walked up to it. It goes down immediately. I walk away. It goes up a little bit. I walk away. <laughs> Yeah, come back, goes down. I'm the like, further right. away you get, the higher it goes. Literally, <laughs> it like doesn't want me to come near it. I'm cold like ice. <laughs> and how many shots of uh, pumpkin is this? Five this shots. Five shots. A baker's two shots. A baker's two shots. Yeah. <laughs> you ever hear that expression before? Sure, the baker's doesn't. I just made that up. <laughs> Scott always gets too close, and then his lens just completely fucked <laughs> up. You think he'd learn? He goes, oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, there it goes again. <laughs> I've also found from experience that if I go like this over it, that's when it's going to be more like a five out than if I shoot from the side. Kind of, yeah. I mean, it, we do have the fan that's like right. sucking things up. So there is like, there's a fair amount of like moving air around here. So it probably does make art. But if you like kind of just like, mm. like I need, honestly, I'm stirring it from back yeah. here. So I kind of get that. You can't be like right above it. And in the basement, they did not have a vent system. So it just <laughs> went up to the ceiling and then and just around interior, everywhere. And interior, also the ceiling like, was like up to there. Yeah, it's like no, barely above your head. That's low. terrifying. So it just basically go up to your head oh, and my goodness. stay there. Oh my goodness. So you're just <laughs> stuck like with the, all of the Yeah, fumes. imagine the peppermint. You can't even see, can't yeah. even open your eyes. You, like uh, when That's we had uh, tours, if the kids were like crying, we just told them to just duck down. That was the best you could do or leave. Just duck. Get out. That's get why. Out. Get out now, kids. <laughs> That's why Steve is like laughing at us when we're yeah. making like. Because it's not funny nearly faces. as bad as it used to be in the basement. Funny faces when it comes to peppermint. He's like, it's not that bad. Like I, I've been doing this so long. He's got peppermint in his blood. <laughs> I got peppermint in my blood too. I got it running through my running, veins. Running the <laughs> it's part of your DNA. <laughs> Literal peppermint. Part Spartan, part peppermint. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where the, uh, my dead family is from Greece. I would say Sparta. Yeah, we'll just say yeah. Sparta. Just because it sounds cool. What's that? I smell vanilla. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it's not. Yeah. 
but it's that good pie. It smells like it's the pumpkin that gives that little bit yeah. of vanilla smell. Just to touch. Yeah. Hmm. Trying to get it when it's still a little hot. A bit easier, but yeah. doesn't look like it's gonna be a bit easier. Yeah, I think it's funny because everybody talks like how it will be like hard to clean up after the hard candy, but realistically, that is so easy to clean up because hot water just dissolves it. Chocolate is such a pain in the butt to clean up. That's the thing that gives me my my grief at work because oh, it's man. like oily. Pile. Pumpkin spice mountain. Yeah, that one got it. That one section, a little bit more than what? That's half a container of that huge pumpkin spice. All in there. Because <laughs> we were doing two batches. Two batches. First so, yeah, batch. I asked Cooper, I was like, how much you put in? He's like, half the bottle. I was like, all right, we're very precise here. Yeah, hey, just about half. This, like, this has been fun. You like, scoop it up and it like goes over it. Cooper, the artiste. Been making. I made like a tree earlier. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like a tree to me at least. <laughs> what have you to... been doing art-wise recently? I've uh -huh. been working a little bit on my Etsy, doing some digital stuff. Honest to God, not too much, but at the same time, I'm kind of just enjoying myself with art currently. Mm -hmm. So can't complain too much about that. So whatever does make it out to anybody that like I'm willing to sell. That's just what I'm looking at it as. I'm not trying to press myself too hard, though. Yes. Greg loves this part. <laughs> when did you guys start doing this? Once you figured out that you can just lift it up like that. <laughs> yeah. It does look kind of cool. It folds it all. Folding it over is so fun, too. <laughs> it's like a little package. It's like a little present. Go to sleep. And then it's cool because you can see some of the powder will sometimes start coming through like the folds and make little bubbles and stuff. It, it is starting to look very marbly. Yeah, this like, part right here. Mm -hmm. oh, it just popped. <laughs> That's cool. So much powder just on the table. Yeah. <laughs> It'll look good yeah. in there. That's another one of the fun things I like when we add like citric acid and stuff like that. Trying to like fold it into the candy is fun. Mm -hmm. And the marbling always looks super cool. It does look pretty cool. Yeah, even with the citric acid. Yeah. Although there's so much of this. That it does look even yeah, cool. like all <laughs> this marbling throughout there. That's so nice. Now I smell pumpkin pie slice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it smelled vanilla before, but now it smells like Spicy. Oh yeah. Spicy pumpkin? Yeah, yeah. In July. Yep. Yep. Well it'll be August when they see it. Yeah. In a few days you guys will see this. Yeah. In a couple days it's gonna be August. Oh my gosh. Which apparently August is pumpkin spice season. Yeah. <laughs> my sister who works at a coffee shop also is like what? Pumpkin Spice is starting on August because they got their mm. shipment of stuff already. Oh, yeah. Taylor took a picture of the, like, Captain Crunch coffee she got there. Oh, my. Captain Crunch coffee? Oh, they my. make really good coffee at my sister's shop. Huh. Yeah. They it's right like on... these cereal things where I think they steep, steep the milk with the cereal and then they use that, like, cereal milk in with the coffee and they, like, put the cereal on top of it. It just looks to die for. It's like they, they steep uh, different, like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms in oat milk and then use that oat milk in their lattes. It's so good. We'll have to uh, leave a link in the description for like how to get there. So then people who come to the store can oh, also so try that out. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually right in, by SU. Oh, yeah. okay. like so it's, it's right down from Syracuse. Yeah, yeah, it's not too pretty, far at all. Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. So Definitely. if you come here, want to get your candy and your coffee, and then go Absolutely. stop and get like a, a fun coffee. Yeah. All the locals are raving about. Mm -hmm. What the oh. uh, Salt City Coffee? There's also the Salt City Market, but the coffee shop that my sister. Uh, runs is the Salt City Coffee. Okay, yeah. it's not in the Salt City Market? No, it's not oh, in the okay. Salt City Market. If people don't know, uh, Syracuse is famous for salt. So, <laughs> so that's yeah, why it's Salt whole, City. Yeah, yeah, we have a salt museum. Yeah. We used to have a soccer team called the Salty Dogs. And you probably will never eat a salt potato anywhere else besides here. I moved here and I didn't know what a salt potato was. Yeah, most of the mo it's it's like a Syracuse thing. Yeah. Like and not even just a New York thing. Everybody in my girlfriend's family looked at me like I had 
third head growing out of me. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was. I never thought, heard of salt potatoes. I thought it was normal. Like, what about Utica greens? I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't know. Chicken I don't know what, what those about are. Either. Utica greens. Have you ever heard of chicken riggies? I've guess? had those, oh, yeah. and yeah, but not prior to moving out here. No, oh, that's okay. not like a. Also, the green milk. That green like milk? green milk that uh, Bird Dairy, Dairy does, does the like mint the mint milk, milk for uh, St. Patrick's oh, Day. Yeah. That was a new one. Or yeah. green beer. Well, I feel like a lot of places probably do green But Burn Dairy is one of the Burn only Dairy places that does the milk. green milk. Hmm. And it's green, and I brought it home to my parents the first time that I <laughs> saw it here and was like, look at this green milk. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> so now you guys are getting a, a bit more understanding of what's around us. Yeah, so when serious. you guys stop in, there's a lot more air, there's a lot more things to check out in yeah. town. The mint milk is only out out at like a certain time of the year. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. It's like Christmas time maybe, I think. Or well, you can uh, always go to Green Lakes, which is what we also always Green Lakes is... Oh, yeah, more. Green Lakes, yeah. yeah. yeah green just Lakes taking a nice little great. hike at Green Lakes. <laughs> it's so funny it's definitely news. like the best park around here. The news yesterday was covering Green Lakes on yeah? just how warm it was. <laughs> and they said, don't, don't uh, work too hard. So I told Steve that I was going to stop working so hard because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty hot out. Yeah. Even though we got AC in here. Yeah. That's yeah, like it was so being, cool in here yesterday. I was like, I don't mind working all day. Yeah, no, literally <laughs> high. I, I as soon as I got yesterday. home, yeah. as soon as I got home to my hot apartment, I like regretted leaving this place. <laughs> I almost like, sat my I do car. overtime this week? I literally almost sat in my car last night just for the <laughs> AC because it's like better than the AC. Like the sun went down. down. Yeah. The sun went down and it was 80 degrees out when yeah. the sun wasn't even out. That is disgusting. My house was like 80 degrees because the central air is broken right now. So oh, I, I have no. like, all I have is two small window units that are supposed to be for bedrooms and that's supposed to cool down my entire house and it doesn't work that well. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we have like one in like window unit and it's in our living room, but our apartment is so long that like our living room oh, is yeah. here and then there's this massive hallway and then Wait, why don't you bedroom. guys have it in your bedroom? That would seem like cuz no, it just will not fit in our bedroom. Oh, the like yeah. window situation in our I've bedroom is like really room. high up point. and stuff and it's so annoying because yeah. like our living room will be like actually kind of cool. And then you go back to our bedroom and it's like yeah, I would just move the bed in the living room for the summer. Honestly, we sleep. I've, I've slept. If out you can get like a small AC unit, they're like a hundred bucks or something for a small one. Yeah, honestly, not a bad idea. Or at least sleeping with like a fan on you. Yeah. Well, there is a fan like in my bedroom mm -hmm. for sure, but like even still, that doesn't. Yeah. That only helps so much. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and also, like if you have a <laughs> blanket on, then like it doesn't help air. at all. Thanks for pushing the hot air at me. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I I need to have a blanket on me, even if it's yep. hot. Even if it's 90 degrees outside. I'll sleep, <laughs> I'll sleep like nothing on top of me when it's hot. I can't. I have to have a fan and a blanket no matter what season <laughs> it is. I definitely need a fan, though, because I think that's just for, like, the white noise, though. Like, I can't yeah. sleep with silence. I got to fall asleep. Like, I don't necessarily need white noise as much as I need something to drown out the noises. Like, either uh, a car going by okay. can, like, wake me up. Or like the creaking in my house has uh, woken me up before. That's probably because you're not used to it though, because it's like a new house or whatever. Yeah. I don't even know, because like all those creaks and stuff at like my parents' old house, that was like they're weird sounds, and when you have people over, they're like, "What was that?" Yeah. Like, oh, it's just my house. <laughs> like it's haunted. Just the house. Greg, right, you've been doing the slightly smaller batches, right, with pulling on the hook. Yeah. I'm gonna. Li I'm. We're gonna be streaming later today. You guys. I mean, it's gonna be in the past for you guys, <laughs> but. For us, it's the future, <laughs> and I'm going to be doing some full batches on those. Oh yeah, yeah cause we got we got mystery today, so all of them are all white. So we got to pull all of them the same amount to make sure that they're all the same oh, weight, yeah. which is going to be interesting. Yeah, should be fun. We'll see how well we do with that. And it's also going to be interesting, just like trying to mix everything because. You won't know if there's like too much lime or like too much orange or something in but the But that's batch. also, that's one of the fun <laughs> parts. That's one of the fun parts about it too. Yeah. I, I'm really excited to, at, when we get done at the end of the day, to like try a piece and see if I can figure it out. Yeah. Because Cooper was telling me yesterday that it like, hard. it's actually like kind of hard to figure yeah. it out. You don't realize like, how much the color association to like the flavor has. Yeah. Like someone gets a bag like, I got all mango. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. We'll try and... <laughs> Try and oh, keep no, that from happening. How far can you pull it? Not too far <laughs> yet, but give me a bit and I can get this going pretty far. Just needs to get a little bit cooler. Have you ever seen the video of the guy, I think he was in Taiwan, who was making candy. I swear he's like stretching it across the room. Yeah. 
Do you have seen it? It's awesome. One? Yeah. It's very cool. Have you watched like uh, other candy makers from around the world make the candy before? Yeah. yeah, all the time, honestly. Especially now that I'm doing it, because it's like, what do they do? <laughs> Yeah. Why is that like they make it look easy? Yeah. Yeah, I want to do another one of those reaction videos that you guys watching how candy is made from around the world, but hopefully this time with better audio because yeah. we didn't realize last time until after we already shot it that the audio recording level was like incredibly low. Didn't do too hot that time, but it's yeah. our, that was our first go. I, yeah, I think like the that. I think the idea was good, but so many people were just like, I can't watch this. I'm like, you know what? I, I can understand that. That's <laughs> totally fair. Yeah. <laughs> That is actually going pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> what would you guys call this color? Uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin yeah. spice orange. Just straight. Sh this is pumpkin. Oh, uh, this it's is not like, even like a or it's like an orange brown. It's like yeah. Like rust. Yeah, rust. You can absolutely see all the flecks in there. The pumpkin spice. Yeah. It looks you cool. Yeah? You can like feed, it has like a little bit of a texture to it. Oh darn, you guys are gonna have to do a taste test after oh, this. Oh no. Worst part of the job, huh? We're gonna have to eat candy. <laughs> Get me every day on it, Craig. <laughs> what did we say we were gonna do, Scott, the next time he asked us to do a, a taste test? We're gonna be like, Dude, I don't want to keep eating candy all day. I'm so sick of candy. This candy is so good, and I just don't want it. I know. I think people like seeing the first one getting pulled out. And kind of come underneath it, and I'm using these two fingers, and then like that a little bit on my palm. Oh, okay. And then you just kind of like feed it out. Flip people it. People know how to do it at home. Yeah, if you're ever interested. We did actually meet someone yesterday who said that we inspired them to start making candy at home, and then. They said they would go to work and people would be like, so uh, you got any more of that orange hard candy or what's up? That's awesome. That's so like, cool. She was like getting requests. That's so cool. Yeah. We give you step the tools. Step. Like there are full possibilities for you guys yeah. to do this at home. It's just a little challenging. And it, I mean, it's very feasible too. It's not like it uses crazy techniques or ingredients Weird and stuff ingredients. like that. Yeah, yeah as long as you have a kettle, you got a surface to pour it on, you have yeah. the proper gloves. You don't, and the person who uh, came in yesterday, they said they didn't even use a hook. They oh, just, just like sort of worked the table. Yeah, you can just pull it on like the table. Like kneading it like yeah, dough or like clay. Yeah, it's just like a, you just just a small amount. Yeah, you just gotta incorporate air. Even like, you know how Cooper at the beginning does the little flips over it? Yeah. Instead of actually like pulling it into a figure eight, you can just do that on your table. Yeah, yeah, especially since she said she was just doing like a small, small batches each yeah. time. That's so cool. Yeah. Can we get a couple slams for old time's sake? Yeah, we'll get some slams. Yeah, because people last time, last video were like, where's the slam? Craig doesn't slam, Craig doesn't slam it. The thing is, when, on my push down, I already got it cut, so yeah. I don't need to slam it, you know? And it's an old machine, and I don't, I don't want to be the one that breaks it. Yeah. We have one of those metal like, pieces that he pulls off that already like right there is like breaking. Yeah. And it's definitely where Okay. And so this is what we have for this batch, and this is the previous there. batch. Yeah, they do look very similar. That's good. You guys must have pulled it out about the same. Yeah. That's why I did it again, just to try to make sure it's consistent. Yeah. Have you guys been pulling this out the whole time or something? Sometimes yeah, I guess so. Like Seems like it just disappears. And I know people always ask why, why you know, slam it down four times instead of just once. But uh, you, we'd have to cut it each time if we weren't going to do that. Oh, oh, like putting all the ropes in there and then pressing yeah, so it with you, all of them. Have to, like, I'd have to snip it, it with yeah, scissors. Yeah, but yeah, so this, this cuts it anyway. So yeah, it's actually technically you could play way. like snake with it, but that yeah. would be harder. That would yeah. probably take even longer too. Yeah, we got it pretty fast, like how it's going now, so. Yeah, Yeah, you guys pull this whole thing out in about 15 minutes or so? 15, 20 yeah. minutes, yeah. By the time it's on the table to when we're done pulling it out, it's anywhere from like 35 to 40 minutes and like 20 of that is pulling. Yeah. Kind of it's on the table and on the hook and flavoring and all that stuff. So we call it like a 10 hour day, we get about nine batches done. Sometimes we get them done faster, but that's if everything goes perfect. Yeah, it's tough like when we're doing live streams to oh, tell yeah. people exactly when they're going to be because we, sometimes batches take longer, sometimes they don't. Yeah, so it really it depends on how warm the, the table is that we pour the sugar on it. It yeah. depends on what color we're trying to get it for how long it's going to get pulled on the hook. Yeah. So I, I wish we could say yeah. when. And we were actually playing around with doing the next 
the next live stream, not the one today, but then you know whenever we do the next yeah. one, at like maybe three or four p.m. or something like that. Yeah. So it, it would have to be like the last batch of the day, though, just because I think more people would watch because people are getting almost done with work or done yeah. with work out of class and things like that. Yeah. It, it, it's Thursday today, and we're gonna do one at like noon. So how many people are gonna be available on a Thursday at noon? You know. Yeah. <laughs> the seldom one people that have yeah. like work situation that they can have a video pulled up next to their like sit, like what they're working on or something I don't even know. Yeah or like students, students home, for home from somewhere. Break, yeah. Honest it was so nice out this morning. I was really ready to call out and just spend the day outside. But then it's like only nice at six thirty in the morning. Yeah. And right now I'm sure it's disgusting it's like really out. Hot. So yeah. Yeah, we're going through the heat wave right now. I can't I can't actually be I can't. I'm happy I'm inside right now because my <laughs> apartment's like hotter than this so yeah. we got a bunch of fans going the ac on still like, 75 degrees when i was here. like getting up this morning it was like beautiful sunny the birds were chirping it was like 77 degrees outside i'm like man if today could only just be this i would yeah. be so happy but go to it work. won't stay 77 that's the problem and it's gonna rain today it's finally breaking we've had such like heat and now it's like thunderstorms. Yeah. I think like the colder it is, the less likely it is to rain and like clouds and have a harder yeah. time holding out the water as it gets hotter or more humid or something like that. I think the huh. moisture from everything like condensating and all the water evaporating from like little puddles and streams and stuff like that, like just eventually builds up in the clouds and that's what like when it's super hot out you know it's going to end in a thunderstorm i also think it has something to do with like the positive and negative charges of magnetic and stuff like like magnetic charges and things yeah, like I that i think it's the the, the positive thermal. or negative well, feelings like, of the there's, population there's thermal fields <laughs> you're funny there's like <laughs> thermal fields where it's like hot air is in certain places and that's where like the weird misconception of like hawks are like circling their food but they're literally just like in a thermal, like just down. like riding the a thermal heat. Yeah, like, yeah. Huh. like everyone's like, oh, hawks are like circling around something, but like you watch them like circle and then they move, like it's a dead thing moving mm -hmm. as they're like, their circle is mm -hmm. moving above it. Like, no, huh. they're just riding like a thermal wave. But just riding the wave, dude. That's exactly, what they're up there all, they're like, hang 10, man, just riding the wave. <laughs> you got a sick thermal wave coming through. Yeah, no, they all group up because it's like a move, like it's fun for them, I think. I don't know, it's like social. All kinds of weird bird behavior on that but i think it's like yeah there's like thermal like weird heat waves come through and like that hitting a cold i know that that's air. how tornadoes like that's, happen oh that's where a lot of weather comes from is like the two different types of air like because there's pressure too yeah there's like different air pressure in the two sides of that so different pressures make weird things happen fuck air pressure heck yeah come on man you're gonna ride this wave with us right come yeah. on Shaka, no, bro. My mom told me. My mom told me I had to come home early for dinner. I had to go home early. She for just dinner, returned guys. to take the food. <laughs> <laughs> the worms for breakfast have came back. <laughs> How many desk hints you put in? It doesn't really matter. We just need to put in desk hints so that they don't stick together. Because as they go through and pack it, they like grab the desk hint from in here. So we just have to have enough. When it's just me doing the scooping, I'll use a scoop. Yeah. Like Cooper and I. Oh, Cooper likes to use a scoop. Yeah. I'm a Cooper Scooper. These are how big? Eight ounces. And two decimals to make it not sticky. So we have to get to like eight point something. Eight point six. Wow. There we go. You did it. All done. <laughs> and how many have you? Oh, that's a lot. Um, I don't know, I wasn't counting them. <laughs> that many. That many? Plus whatever's left in here. Yep. It's probably a little less than half left, right? Yeah. Yeah, you've done a lot so far. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <gasps> well, that's coming out of Kara's paycheck anyway, so. Where's the Hercules dog when you need him? Dogs don't eat hard candy, Craig. Oh, really? I thought that was the bottom of their food <laughs> pyramid. No. This, look, this could be dog food, right? They do like pumpkin. It is brown and small. <laughs> <laughs> so do your dogs, your dogs like pumpkin? Well, your dog probably They like love everything. pumpkin. They like grass and 
finding chicken wings. Somehow they find chicken wings every walk. <laughs> People litter chicken wings a lot. <laughs> Apparently. Good job, Leah. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thanks. So it's been brought to my attention that Starbucks has something like a PSL day, hashtag, mm. pumpkin spice latte, the day that it's introduced in, in, it used to be in September, but now it's moved back to later in August. So we're going to trump them. We're trumping mm. Starbucks. We're going to do a PSC day, Whoa. pumpkin spice candy day, hard candy on August 2nd, which is, you know, today, right now. Right the, now. this day, August yeah. 2nd. So we're doing it. So Starbucks, we came for you. How do you like it? It's our day. Yeah, we were here first. <laughs> Pumpkin Spice Candy Day, PSC. Go get it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to order the Pumpkin Spice Hard Candy, you can click the link below. Or you can watch another video. Those are your two options. Those are your only two options. So pick one. And if you don't, I'm going to tell your mom. And I'll do it. You know I'll do it. I've got her number. <laughs>